Too late isn't in your vocabulary. Reach your next goal at University of Maryland Global Campus. Get the accredited education you want wherever you are, on your own schedule. UMGC offers online degrees and certificates to help you level up your skills. Apply now and save with no application fee through May 31st. For more than 75 years, UMGC has been transforming adult lives. Access online courses, faster onboarding, and success coaches that help you along the way. Plus, UMGC makes an accredited online education more affordable than ever with scholarships, interest-free payment plan, and no-cost digital resources in place of most textbooks. Choose from more than 125 degree and certificate programs in career-relevant fields and receive lifetime career services at no additional cost. Gain skills local employers are looking for in business, cyber, IT, healthcare, and more. Get started on your undergraduate or graduate degree or certificate online. No application fee if you apply by May 31st. Learn more at umgc.edu slash podcast. Certified to operate by CHEV. Hey, Mama, have you been looking for guided meditations that can really speak to this journey of motherhood? Then check out the Meditation for Moms podcast, free guided meditations that are here to help support you throughout the entire journey of motherhood. Motherhood is no joke. It's full of incredible highs, heartbreaking lows, and everything in between. Meditation for Moms gives you guided meditations that will speak to your soul no matter what season of motherhood you're in. Listen for free today. Follow Meditation. Meditation for moms on your favorite podcast player. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1765, The Destructive Ways We Self-Parent as Adults, by Dr. Lisa Firestone of psychalive.org. Hello, everybody, and welcome to ORD. I'm Greg Audino, your host and narrator. So glad you're here today, as this is one of my favorite articles that I've come across. Certainly one of the most truthful and applicable, anyway. Listen up whether or not you're a parent, because this extends far beyond what might become of your relationships with your children. There's also a lot of emphasis on how your parents treated you, and thus how you treat yourself. So, let's get into it now, and optimize your life. The Destructive Ways We Self-Parent as Adults by Dr. Lisa Firestone of psychalive.org The relationship we have with our parents or primary caretakers is almost never black and white. Some of us may be more inclined to idealize our parents, while others may feel especially zoomed in on their shortcomings. Most of us are guilty of both. As adults, we're often better able to see that our parents are just human beings with strengths and weaknesses, and we can sometimes identify the positive and negative effects that they've had on us. We may even think that we have our relationship with our parents figured out. Yet, this perspective is very different from the one we had as children when our parents or parent figures had a much more profound impact on us. The Role of the Fantasy Bond As an infant, our parents are literally our key to survival. Their ability, or lack thereof, to provide us with a sense of safety, to be attuned to our needs, and to soothe us when we were distressed, created the foundation of how we see ourselves, others, and how relationships operate. The strengths and weaknesses they possessed had a powerful effect when we were younger, and that effect is still very much playing out in our lives today. These almost invisible forces internalized from our early experience with our parents help to shape the way we act and how we see ourselves throughout our lives. Much of this is due to an illusion of connection or fantasy bond that we form with our parents in moments of overwhelming distress. A fantasy bond was termed by my father, psychologist and author Robert Firestone, to describe a core defense mechanism that helped us maintain a sense of safety and security at times when we experienced overwhelming frustration, hurt, or even terror. For an infant, the fantasy of being merged with a caretaker can reduce feelings of hunger and frustration. This illusion of connection can serve us as a compensation for inadequacies in their caretaking. For example, If their parent had trouble making eye contact, soothing them, or often felt fearful, frustrated, absent, or angry, the child may rely on the fantasy of security over the frightening reality of having a parent who feels unsafe. The child internalizes the parent and feels like the helpless child and the all-powerful parent all in one. We parent ourselves the way we were parented, both punishing ourselves and soothing ourselves as we were treated. 
This pattern plays out throughout our development as we identify with and internalize our parent in several ways. The first is that we take care on their attitudes toward and around us. This is a largely unconscious process. As children, it feels far more threatening to see our parents as flawed than to take the blame on ourselves. Whether a parent was rejecting or resentful or overbearing and emotionally hungry, we tend to make sense of these traits by thinking there is something wrong with us. If the problem lies with us, we have control, which makes us feel safe. The inner voice. We then tell ourselves stories about who we are based on these parental cues and see ourselves through our parents' eyes. We start to form an inner voice that translates the attitudes we picked up from our parents into our own self-concept. If a parent was critical of us or themselves, we take on these criticisms. If we felt like a burden, or that we were too loud, too quiet, too needy, too angry, too shy, etc., we will carry on believing these things about ourselves long after we grow up. Another way we keep our connection to our parents is by seeing ourselves as like them. One man I spoke to talks about the guilt he feels any time he pays for anything, as he grew up feeling fearful of his mother's excessive spending. It's not unusual to take on our parents' traits as our own, We may act out the ways we saw them act out, or we may rebel against their traits because we're so worried that we possess them. Either way, we are bending ourselves out of shape, expressing our parents' way of being rather than our own. Even if we grow up and start to see our parents more clearly, we still remain largely unaware of this early fantasy bond's long-term effect on us. We continue to preserve their legacy by putting ourselves down and building them up. It's not that we think our parents were perfect, we just think that they were better than they were, and we still believe that we are more inherently flawed than we are. Part of the reason we're so stubborn about maintaining these connections is that they were once the very thing that made us feel safe. As kids, our parents were all powerful forces who needed to be good in order for us to feel safe and survive in an unsafe world. Even after years of arguing, disagreeing, or separating from them physically, We stay connected to our parents in all kinds of ways that exist within us. We may continue to believe their attitudes toward us or project these attitudes onto others. We keep them alive inside us by living out a prescription that they wrote for us, almost always without any awareness of what we're doing. When we self-parent, we repeat patterns from our childhood, especially in our adult relationships. One woman I spoke to described having a mother who tore her down and often felt jealous of her. On the other hand, her father built her up for being adorable and showered her with attention until she got older and was no longer a little girl. Throughout her teen and young adult years, her mother remained critical and emotionally hungry, while her father became distant and rejecting. She felt lost and like she needed to be adorable or adored in her adult relationships in order to get back the positive reinforcement that she had felt from her dad. At the same time, She was incredibly critical of herself and her looks, much like her mother had been. Living out her parents' prescription of her left her feeling both like she needed to be the center of attention and like she was unworthy of attention all at once. Breaking the fantasy bond. The point here is in no way to demonize parents or to suggest that they intentionally harm their children. As I've said, all parents are people and come with their own hurts and histories. Just as their negative traits contribute to our negative attitudes towards ourselves and others, so too do their positive influences enhance our self-concept. There are certainly characteristics we admire in our parents that we would like to emulate. However, as adults, we must learn how to differentiate the positive from the negative, to uncover the otherwise invisible forces that do not serve us, and to preserve the ones that do. We can break the original fantasy connection and face the pain that we've held since childhood that was caused by our parents' shortcomings. Only then can we be fully free to create a life that reflects who we really are, and to build relationships that are grounded in real, healthy ways of relating. You just listened to the post titled, The Destructive Ways We Self-Parent as Adults, by Dr. Lisa Firestone of psychalive.org. White men can't jump is only on Hulu. You assumed I couldn't hoop because I'm white. No, I assumed you couldn't hoop because you were dressed like a white girl at Whole Foods. 
Val streaming. We can hustle a few games. Woo! We'll throw them off their game and we'll clean up. See the movie event. Those short shorts look incredible on you. You have an OnlyFans? Ah! Only on Hulu. We win, we make more money than we've ever seen in our lives. Sin Qua Walls. Did you not bring enough money to cover this game? Jack Harlow. I brought like 80 minus 60. I knew this was a mistake. White Men Can't Jump. Rated R. Now streaming. Only on Hulu. Priceline presents Go to Your Happy Price. What's up? It's Kaylee Cuoco. When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. You can see yourself already there. It's beautiful. It might be sunny and sandy for some, neon and urban for others, deserts or rainforests or hiking trails. With Priceline, you can get to your happy place for a happy price with deals you really can't find anywhere else. Like up to 60% off select hotels to Costa Rica or five-star hotels for two-star prices in Cabo. Go to Priceline.com and travel to your happy place for a happy price. All right, see ya. I'm off to Miami. No, actually, wow, look at that. No, I- I'm going to Hawaii now. Ooh, Cancun looks nice. You know what? Belize looks pretty nice this time of year. Or, mmm, Palm Springs. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. And a really, really powerful post from Dr. Lisa, right? I enjoyed this one very much. I have so much interest in the traits that we receive from our parents. It feels like such a great key to understanding oneself, which I always crave. And simply put, guys, I hope that you embrace this opportunity to do the same. I hope that this article truly helps you to get honest with yourself about what you might have inherited from your parents. What stories might you be telling yourself about who you are And how could those stories be rewritten by plunging yourself more into the present? What troubles you about your parents? And might those things align with the parts of yourself that you struggle to accept? Are there parts of your parents that you, or your relationships with them that you want to forgive? And might doing so help you forgive yourself in some way, or vice versa? Ultimately, it's a great exercise in many different forms of self-acceptance. So please do not sleep on this. Don't shy away from it. Yes, your parents have greatly impacted you, probably more than you realize, but that doesn't mean that you aren't and or cannot be someone you truly love and value. Okay, that's all from me, everyone. I'm going to calm down. (laughs) I thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this article and listen intently, I hope. Please share this episode with someone who you think might benefit from it or enjoy it as well. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you for more tomorrow. That's where your optimal life awaits.